do you like it, you fishermen? Like to go to Acapulco? Beautiful Acapulco Bay. This is the third largest harbor in the world. Acapulco is built on a of land, scarcely half a mile wide, between the shoreline and the lofty encircling mountain. There's great natural beauty in the surroundings. Flowers are gorgeous and profuse, growing wild in many spots and carefully cultivated in others. You will find charming combinations of ancient culture and modern living. Time is not vitally important, so materials are transported by these patient little burrows. Narrow romantic streets with tiny shops and bazaars are full of finely made silver, lace, and wood carving. The annual sailfish rodeo at Acapulco draws eager fishermen from as far north as Canada. Watch this expert with the throw net. He's after bait. The rodeo starts tomorrow. Hotels and clubhouse are a beehive of expectant fishermen. There's an air of anticipation and excitement throughout the large crowd. You'll hear wonderful stories of far places and record catches. You'll hear a few whoppers about the ones that got away, too. Here are the prizes for the lucky winners. And then some of the women hope to win the President's Cup for the prize catch. Yes, there are many prizes and awards. But only one President's Cup, this beautiful silver trophy. And here is Pancho, as famous a fisherman as ever baited a hook. For years, he was the beloved Zane Gray's guide and assistant. He knows these waters than any man here. And he'll be on hand tomorrow to give his help and advice to those in need of it. The rodeo starts with an official flag raising. It is early morning, but everyone is here. The mayor Polko makes a short welcoming speech. And there she is, waving in the soft tropical breeze like a beautiful welcoming hand to all her friends. Well, let's get started. We've got fishing to do this day. Hearts are high with hope. Eager and excited fishermen have checked over familiar items of their deep sea equipment before starting out to the fishing grounds. Now the lines and rods must be rigged and baited. They call the sailfish grounds the blue water. This sturdy harness is an absolute necessity if you expect to land your sailfish. He's a terrific fighter. Now we're all set. It won't be long now. What's that? Uh-oh, just a school of porpoises. The boats are pretty thick around us, and they all seem to have their lines out. Shouldn't be long now until we... Look, what's that? A sailfish. See it? Yes, he sees it. Skipper makes a quick turn, and we're on his trail. And he hits it. Hang on, boy. Now brace yourself for a fight. This isn't going to be any cinch. Watch him leap. Say, he's a big one. This hit. This might be the prize winner. Reel him in if you can. It isn't easy, but it's great sport. You've got to have muscle and endurance and skill to do this right. He's strong and full of vicious fight at this stage. If the fisherman is good enough, he can wear him down. If not, the fish will wear out the fisherman. This happens to be a good fisherman, though, keeping his line always taut and making certain the fish doesn't get a chance to bowl. Well, it's been a long, hard, hot fight, but the skill of the fisherman is more than a match for the brute strength of the heavy sailfish. Fight is over, and he's ready to be landed. And this lovely miss gets a strike. Looks like a big one. Reel him in. 
another strike. In all that stands between this sailfish and freedom is a tiny line, a line weighing only a few ounces. That means that the line must never be allowed to get slack. If it does, a quick turn by the fish, and the line is broken and your fish is free. The fish tries to throw the hook out of his mouth. No, he won't quit until absolutely exhausted. One of the strictest rules of the rodeo is that no help must be given to the fisherman until the fish is alongside. If anyone touches the line or the rod, the fisherman will be disqualified. Well, it looks like the sailfish lost out this time. Now to land him. At last, the day is over. Well, let's get back and see what luck the others had. Almost every boat has a flag flying, indicating it got at least one sailfish. Yes, this is truly a fisherman's paradise. Now for the award. This beautiful President's Silver Trophy. Congratulations, young man. You've set a record and we're proud of you. Now, it's all over. But let's not say adios to this lovely and romantic setting and its wonderful hospitality. Rather, hasta luego. <laughs>